How's it going guys? It's John. This is another Lost Ark video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the secret ocean traders, the ones that spawn like every 30 minutes. Okay, so before I even tell you how to find these guys and all that, um, we're just going to go over their actual drops or you know, their inventory. Um, so you can go over here to Lost Ark Codex. You can look up the two ships we're looking at is New Vernice Exploring Ship and the other one we're looking at is Lutheran Royal Trade Ship. I'll post links to these uh, this web page on Lost Ark Codex. You can just look it up yourself. I just want to show you the rewards really fast because for most people, you're probably not going to give a shit about farming these guys. Um, for the first ship, so for the new Vernice Exploring Ship, the most important thing that you want off the ship is probably this one, Masterpiece number 27. If you're trying to collect all the masterpieces, you're going to need to buy this. So you will have to find the ship eventually. It costs 10,000 pirate coins. For everything else, it's pretty much just quality of life stuff. The other things that they sell are just sail glyphs. So, you know, you can have a different sail on your ship if you care about your ship fashion, which is pretty cool. And then the last thing that they sell is just a bunch of stronghold crew applications. Something to note is that all this other stuff up here costs pirate coins, whereas the stronghold crew applications cost uh, Gina coins or Gina coins. How the hell you say that? Um, in particular, this new Vernice exploring ship, it does sell this. It's a purple, or I'm sorry, it's a blue uh, Stronghold crew, and then there's also this chick, Silver Chain Alice, she's a purple one. She's really good. So that's it for the new Vernice ship. We'll look at the Lateran Tr Royal Trade ship. This one, I believe, it's just Stronghold and Sail Glyphs. So this one is over on the uh, eastern side of the ocean. Again, more Sail Glyphs. You can get the cool black Sail Glyph if you're extra emo. Um, it also sells a small music box. I think you can only buy one of these per day, and it, again, it's for Pirate Coins. For this particular vendor, the Royal Lutheran Royal Trade Ship, they only sell things in pirate coins, I believe. Yeah, see, look at the Stronghold Crew application form, some more of them. It's all in pirate coins. And again, he has a purple Stronghold Crew application and then also a blue one. So those are like really the best thing from the Lutheran Royal Trade Ship. So again, this is just a side thing, these, these uh, secret vendors. This is not something super important for gameplay. If you want to spruce up your ship, then you will have to find these uh, traders. And then also, if you want to get all of the Stronghold crew application forms, you will have to find these traders too. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about where to actually find these traders. All right, so once again, I have made a nice little map for this. Pretty much, they spawn on all these islands. So we're gonna talk about New Verenice Exploring Ship. They spawn on these six islands, Sublime Island, Eternity Isle, Nihilips Tot, Thoughts, Goblin Island, Gravis, and Hypno's Eyes. So the deal is, the ship will spawn on an island, and it's totally random out of these six islands. And then the ship stays there at the island for 30 minutes. After the 30 minutes are up, I think there's a cooldown. I want to say it's like maybe 5 or 10 minutes before the ship will spawn again. So that what you want to do is you pretty much just, you know, choose the channel. I usually start at the channel 1, and I look for the ship. And if it's not in any of the islands I'm checking, I'll just switch to the next channel. Because the deal is every channel will have a different ship spawn. So that's what you're doing. You're basically just using the channels to, you know, channel hopping to try and find the ship spawns. Um, so they spawn over here for the new Vernice exploring ship. And then for the Lutheran Royal Trade ship, it spawns over here on White Wave Island, Dream Goal Island, Sunflower Island, Starlight Isle, Lopang Island, and Total Silver Island. So again, it's the same thing. The ship will spawn on an island, it lasts for 30 minutes, and then it disappears. Like I said, there is a cooldown. Uh, before it will spawn again on that channel. I, I want to say it's like, I don't know, 5-10 minutes. I'm not sure exactly how long it is. I usually will just keep channel hopping as soon as I find a ship. Okay, so lastly, we're just going to talk about the strategies, the actual strategies for finding the ship. Because there's the six islands, so over here we got Nihilips, Thoughts, we have Goblin Isle, down here we got Gravis, and Hypnos Isle, and then up here we got Eternity, Eternity Isle, and then over here Sublime Isle. So they're really far apart. So really... I mean, you can, what I was doing in the beginning, I would just go island by island. So I'd start down here at Hypnos, go to Gravis, from Gravis to Goblin, Goblin to Nihilips, and then Nihilips to Eternity, and then Eternity to Sublime Isle. That takes like 20 to 30 minutes. So it takes a while to do that. Instead, what I started doing later on to make it more efficient and more time efficient, rather, I would just choose like maybe two islands. So what I was doing was I was just going back and forth between Gravis and Hypnos Eyes. So that's only two out of the six islands. So, you know, I basically would have a 30% chance of finding the ship. It's up to you how you want to do it. I mean, if you want to, you could do uh, Nihilops, Nihiltalops thoughts to a goblin. That's a lot shorter. Although do keep in mind the dead island or the uh, 
what is it, the dead waters or whatever, it slows your ship down a shitload. So although that looks like a short distance because your ship gets slowed down so much, it's actually a lot longer, like maybe over here, um, compared to Isle of Hypnos. So it's up to you how much you want to do. I would say probably, like I said in the beginning, uh, maybe just choose two islands, like check the two islands and then switch channels. Come up here, switch to channel two, same thing. Check both islands, you know, switch to the next channel. And just keep going down the list. There's usually a ton of channels on the ocean. See, right now there's 10. Um, if the, there's a lot of people playing, it can go up to like 20, 30 channels, something like that. So usually you will have enough channels to find the uh, trade ships as they spawn on the islands. And uh, yeah, like I said, I think probably the best maybe would be to do like maybe two or three islands. So you could do Nihil to Lop's Thoughts, into Goblin, into Gravis, and then maybe channel switch. Or if you want to, you can go the extra distance and check out Hypnos Eyes, so you're getting at least four out of six of the islands. I feel like it's not worth going all the way up to Eternity Isle and then Sublime Isle because they're so far up here. The other four islands are kind of clustered down here, so that it's a lot easier to hit these four. So I think that would be the best thing for New Vernice. Just hit those four, switch channel, hit the four again, switch channel, and keep doing that. Sometimes you get lucky and you'll find the ships really quick. Sometimes it might take a while. You know, you're getting bad RNG. They might be on these top islands. You might not find them. Um, one other thing, one other tip that I would suggest is, you know, uh, call out the islands. Like, ask if anybody else is, like, you know, ask in uh, the group chat, or not the group chat, the sea ocean chat, if anybody else is looking for the islands so you can try and find them. Or what you can do is if you find the island, you know, you can just let other people know hey the ship's up and you know you can come to this channel and then you know this island the ship is here you know it has this stuff for sale but well, that's one thing i forgot to say when you actually do find the ships they only have two things for sale at, at a time so uh and it's it's per channel i think each channel has a different inventory so if there's two items for sale like let's say there's a glyph and then one of the stronghold guys for sale if you switch to another channel and find the ship it could be like the masterpiece and then a stronghold guy or whatever. It's totally random for each thing. Um, and then, yeah, the same thing with Lateran Isle or the Lateran side of the ocean. Uh, you got the six islands. What is it? Starlight, Sunflower, Toto Silver, Lopang, and then Dream Goal and White Wave Island. So actually, I think it's a lot better to t do this wet eastern side to get that stuff. That's a lot easier to farm than New Bernice, I think, because there's not all the dead waters and all that. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, like I said, maybe just stick to, like, three to four islands, check them, and then switch channels so you can try and find the boats. Also, make sure you have a ton of pirate coins to buy this stuff, because you don't want to find the boat, and then you don't have enough Gina coins or pirate coins to actually buy the thing that you need. And then, yeah, lastly, like I said please like call out the ships when you find them so that because there's other people probably farming these ships you know alongside of you or maybe there's a lot of people that still don't know about this and still don't know about these secret traders in the ocean so maybe you could uh you know post about it in the ocean chat and people will be like oh crap let me check it out so you're helping out other people but um yeah that's pretty much it guys that is how to find the ocean traders i'm posting i made that map i will post it in the description and then i'll also post the links to lost art codex so you can look at the ocean traders to see if you even want to farm these in the first place totally fine if you don't but yeah that's it for the video guys thanks for watching see ya